important part of this chapter that is quantum numbers. Now without understanding what is meant by quantum numbers, you cannot proceed further into this chapter or you cannot study chemical bonding. So it is very important topic or the basis of this chapter to understand quantum numbers in detail and Schrodinger formulas. Okay. So what is meant by quantum numbers we will discuss. So before that you should understand some configurations. Configuration, to express configuration we mainly use subshells. Okay, subshells are mainly of S, P, D and F types. S, P, D, F type subshells, we will study about them in detail when we study about quantum numbers. So you must study that S, P, D and F are the four types of main quantum, uh, not quantum numbers, I mean these are the main subshells, subshells, okay, subshells. So, to understand about quantum numbers, you should first understand about Schrodinger scientist. Schrodinger. Schrodinger was a scientist and he studied mainly about the atomic subshells and he was the one who discovered all these concepts regarding quantum numbers and discovery of subshells. So based upon that, what he was an expert mathematician and he uh, on studying mathematics and chemistry together, he understood and he developed a formula called as Schrodinger equation and that is Hamiltonian operator, H operator. H operator, it's a mathematical function which you will be studying in higher classes. Hamiltonian operator, that is a mathematical function of psi. Psi is a Greek letter which means wave function. What? Why we are talking about wave function? We know atom in their electrons can act as wave, wave nature as well as particle nature. So based upon the wave nature, he has classified, at, uh, he has developed this, that is Hamiltonian operator of the wave function, okay, is equal to E psi. H operator psi equal to E psi was the equation given by Schrodinger. So what is the meaning of this equation? Hamiltonian operator of the wave function will, will give you energy times the wave function. Energy, that means indirectly, the simplest meaning of this statement is that by solving this, you will be getting different energies that are possible on filling the electrons in the subshells. So how to fill, which order we have to focus on filling the subshells, from that how we are getting that order. That order actually came or the subshells actually came in the increasing order of energy by solving this Hamiltonian expression for wave function. And psi is a wave function. Wave function means it is the symbolic form of the wave of that particle. Particle in a sense electron. Okay. And uh, if you are curious now about uh, Schrodinger equation in first dimension, then I will write uh, over here. It's not necessary to buy hard this expression right now, which I'm going to write, but it's good if you understand. Delta square x divided by delta x square plus 8 pi square m divided by h square into e minus v psi equal to 0. On solving this expression, the first Solution that we obtain is this. What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of this expression? Delta square x by delta square indicates we are talking about second derivative in, with respect to first dimension. Dimension means x, x axis. So electron, if the electron is moving along the x axis, we are representing a second derivative like this. 8 pi square m by x square. It indicates a constant over here. E minus V, energy minus, here V is the volume of that particular orbital. Energy and volume of that orbital. Psi, psi is a wave function, is equal to zero. This is Schrodinger wave equation for first dimension. And this was a question which was asked in a competitive exam. I don't remember, I think it's JEE. It was asked in JEE competitive exam. Uh, and many options were given. So this was the answer, expressing Schrodinger wave equation in first dimension. So like that you can just note down this formula. Now this is basic idea of Schrodinger. His aim was to identify the different subshells. So let's see what are the quantum numbers or the just uh, what is meant by quantum number. You think about an atom like you. Imagine you are an atom and you have fingerprints. Your fingerprints are your uh, identities. No other fingerprint can match each other, right? So similar way atoms have their own fingerprints. And these fingerprints are actually determined by the atomic spectra as well as the quantum numbers of the electron which they belong to. So let's see what is meant by quantum numbers in detail. So to study about quantum numbers, first 
क्वांटम नंबर्स में से एक्सप्रेस द एनर्जी एंड एवरीथिंग अबाउट द सब्सटेंस ओके तो फर्स्ट क्वांटम नंबर इज द प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर प्रिंसिपल प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर what is meant principal quantum number principal quantum number means the most important quantum number that is first expressed when we are representing subshell of energies it is represented by small n so what are these actually principal quantum number actually indicate the size of the atom size of atom what do the mean actually size of the atom and energy of atom of atom and which shell it is located in shell which shell it is located so these are the main significance of a principal quantum number let's study s orbital these are subshells okay so orbital also we can say s subshell s orbital and p orbital d orbital f orbital s orbital has actually only one possibility a orbital can be represented by a box in that only two electrons are possible only two electron two electron can be filled in a particular subshell so here in s orbital maximum two electron only possible whereas in d uh, d orbital there are three boxes three box or three into two six electron you can fill sorry p p orbital okay p orbital only i am telling p orbital three subshells or three into two six electron you can fill now d orbital there are five boxes so 5 into 2 equal to 10 electron you can fill f orbital these are particular energy levels f orbital there are total seven so seven it boxes means 7 into 2 equal to 14 electron can be filled we'll study about it after studying about the principal quantum numbers so you have to understand s orbital the principal quantum numbers n n value for s orbital can start from 1 2 3 etc so what i can represent for s orbital 1s 2s 3s 4s 5s etc what does that actually mean 1s here 1 indicates a principal quantum number 2 indicate principal quantum number 3 indicate like that more the principal quantum number the more energy it is having so energy of 5s is always greater than 4s 4s is more than 3s 2s is uh, more than 1s like that so 1 2 3 4 indicate the principal quantum numbers of s orbital p orbital always has starting from 2 okay so 2 3 4 5 6 etc etc 6 not need to mention okay 2 3 4 5 maximum do that so we can write 2p 3p 4p 5p etc Where energy is of 5p greater than 4p greater than 3p greater than 2p. So 2, 3, 4, 5 are the principal quantum numbers of p orbital. Whereas 1, 2, 3, 4 starting from 1 onwards s orbital p orbital starts from 2 principal quantum number. Then d orbital always starts from 3, 3, 4, 5, 5 3 d, 4 d, 5 d, 6 d, etc. We can write where 3, 4, 5 are the principal quantum numbers. And s orbital always starts from 4 onwards. So f orbital 4 5 6 like that so 4f 5f etc similarly we can write but in 5f only we have to write over here okay so uh, 4f 5f for the main f orbitals which we are studying there is no f or principal quantum number for f orbital does not include 1 2 3 and all only starts from 4 you have to understand that from this concept so principal quantum number n gives the size of the atom we can predict the size of 5p orbital or the energy of 5p orbital is more here than 4p than 3p than 2p like that then shell which subshell it is located so that we can it's very clear by identifying the principal quantum number so after understanding about principal quantum number the next important quantum number which you have to study is azimuthal quantum number so what is meant by azimuthal quantum number we'll see second important quantum number is azimuthal quantum number number azimuthal quantum number is denoted by the letter l okay azimuthal quantum number where l value is l equal to n minus 1 where 
n is principal quantum number principal quantum i'm just writing qu number principal quantum number quantum number okay so let's see what is the value for example we already wrote that 1s 2s 3s are the possible values of s orbitals so for s orbital we know that l value is n minus 1 so for individual s orbitals we'll see for s orbital for 1s orbital we can write principal quantum number principal quantum number value is equal to how much p i am denoting just for representing principal quantum number principal quantum number p for 1s orbital is 1 that or we can write n now n n is enough n equal to 1 for 1s orbital whereas l what is it, what is l l is your asymptotic quantum number l value is n minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 equal to 0 the value of azimuthal quantum number for this particular orbit uh, subshell that is uh, 1s subshell is 0 and clearly d orbital or p orbital i will denote p orbital starts from 2p 3p 4p etc so for considering 2p orbital here i can write n value is 2 because its 2 is a value of principal quantum number and l value equal to n minus 1 equal to 2 minus 1 equal to 1 our asymptotal quantum number is 1 for p or 2p orbital similarly we can find for any orbital yeah and what is the use of studying this asymptotal quantum number is that what does it denote asymptotal quantum number actually denotes the angular or orbital angular orbital angular momentum this value of azimuthal quantum number which we obtain actually represent the orbital angular momentum you know whenever electron is revolving in a particular orbital we know that it possesses momentum angular momentum is present because it's revolving in circular orbit so orbital angular momentum is represented by this azimuthal quantum number and it also identifies the 3d shape of the orbital what is the use of a simple quantum number this orbitals s p d and f have their particular shapes all are not of the circular shape or anything they are having different shapes but each subshell can accommodate two two electrons each in each box okay so we will study about that in the next videos and all s p d f so orbital angular momentum is uh, explained by a simple quantum number and it gives 3d shape of the 3d shape of the atom third atom of the orbital 3d shape of the orbital okay so this is all about asymptotal quantum number now the third most important quantum number is magnetic quantum number so we'll see that magnetic quantum number third important is magnetic quantum number magnetic quantum number is denoted by ml not millimeter ml ml indicate magnetic quantum number so what is the relation between we have discussed if n is the if n is principal quantum number principal quantum number and l equal to n minus 1 is azimuthal azimuthal quantum number then principal quantum num i mean uh, magnetic quantum number ml gives 12 plus 1 values values where minus l to plus l including zero are the values by reading this definition you may not understand what is the actual meaning of magnetic quantum number i'll explain you by giving examples of orbitals let's consider the regular example of spdf orbitals so considering that example s orbital this orbital or a subshell we can say s orbital next orbital p orbital d orbital s orbital p orbital d orbital we know s orbital always starts from 1s 2s 3s etc p orbital starts from 2p 3p 4p etc 
d orbital surfing 3d 4d 5d etc okay so here in the s orbital suppose let's consider the example of 2s orbital so consider in detail about 2s orbital for 2s orbital what is the principal quantum number n it is equal to 2 here itself and what is the uh, what what is the next uh, azimuthal quantum number l l equal to n minus 1 or we can say 2 minus 1 equal to 1 l value is 1 then what is ml ml equal to 2 into l plus 1 equal to 2 into instead of l we can write it as so 2 into 1 plus 1 equal to 3 values 3 values exist so what are these ml values ml value is minus l to plus l including 0 minus l l is 1 so minus 1 to plus 1 plus 1 including 0 so minus 1 0 and plus 1 are the only three possible magnetic quantum numbers for 2s orbital now let us see another 3p orbital from here anything you can choose 2p 3p or 4p i just consider 3p for an example for 3p orbital 3 consider 3p orbital the normal or the principal quantum number n equal to 3 whereas l equal to 2 into l plus 1 2l plus 1 what is that 2l plus 1 we should all instead of doing this like this indirectly we can uh, say about always remember this values s orbital p orbital d orbital f orbital s orbital l values okay l values no need to do in this way n minus 1 no need to do here you can always remember that's always better for you 0 1 2 3 these are the fixed l values for s orbital be it 1s 2s or any s your l value is fixed s orbital l equal to 0 so we will see that so here we can write it as what s or <coughs> n equal to 2 so 2 s orbital l was actually 0 so 2 into 0 plus 1 is actually 1 so only one value exists okay so minus 1 to 1 value exists so minus 0 to plus 0 including 1 that is only 0 it's only possible value so this is a perfect explanation we will study about it later also and uh, p orbital 2 p 3 p 4 p are actually existing and uh, so what we can say 3 p orbital n equal to 3 but n value is always fixed for p orbital p value uh, uh, l is 1 so be it 4p 4p or 5p or any p here l value is always fixed that is p equal to for p orbital l value is always 1 so minus 1 to plus 1 including 0 this is the only three possible values of magnetic quantum number ml yeah so now d orbital d orbital 3d 4d 5d orbitals actually exist suppose i choose 5d orbital 5d orbital you know n equal to 5 but l equal to how much don't do 5 minus 1 that's a mistake always by heart this values for the uh, uh, simple quantum number l for 5d orbital is always 2 any orbital any d orbital is always 2 so values of ml is actually 2 into l plus 1 2 into 2 plus 1 5 values so what are these values the values are actually minus l minus 2 to plus 2 including 0 so write out the numbers in between 1 these are the 5 numbers which are possible for magnetic quantum number so what is the use of studying this ma magnetic quantum number not this change okay just memorize this do not uh, do l minus 1 that can give you mistakes careless mistakes may happen so don't do that so what is the use of studying magnetic quantum number is that The magnetic quantum number gives you the spatial orientation or the spatial or arrangement of that particular orbital can be given by magnetic quantum number. It gives spatial arrangement, spatial orientation. So what is that spatial or orientation? In space, how many different types of orbitals or the shapes it can make, the particular orbital can make, that is given by spatial orientation. You will study about spatial orientation in detail in this chapter but now we are not going to see into that we, that will be discussed in the next video so here what we have to discuss is the next quantum number that is magnetic spin quantum number or you can say electron spin quantum number electron 
spin it is denoted by ms always the peculiarity of electron spin is that ms value is always plus or minus half what is the meaning of it for example s orbital s orbital is 1s 2s 3s or any s orbital contains only one slot that is two electron can be only accommodated in this where one electron will be in uh, moving in the up, uh, up direction upward means the, uh, the other electron will be in the downward direction indicating that they are moving opposite to each other that's a simple meaning they are anti parallel to each other in a sense okay so one is moving in clockwise direction means other electron will move in anti clockwise direction similarly or this happens simultaneously in a given subshell so s orbital is only possible whereas the first electron this indicates one electron moving clockwise where the other electron moving anti clockwise the electron spin for the first electron will be plus half and for the second electron will be minus half as only two electron can be accommodated in a particular uh, uh, subshell the subshell so only two values now p orbital p orbital we know three three blocks blocks i know to understand it term sorry term is a particular subshell okay so particular subshell in this p orbital three slots are there where in this two electron in first box two electron in the next two electron in the next so in the first first electron may have plus half and second may have minus half in the here also it is plus half here it is minus half and here it is plus half here it is minus half so this is all about electron spin only these two possible values are there because one two electron only possible in one particular subshell so this is all about electron spin quantum number what's the purpose you can identify how the electron moves one moving clockwise one moving anti clockwise this is used to uh, depict the magnetic nature also you will study about magnetic natures and all detail in solid states which is included in grade 11 syllabus as per now or it can study in grade 12 also it's there in the book so electron spin has a lot of importance in determining the magnetic properties now this are all the uh, four main quantum numbers and uh, one peculiarity is that no electron in a particular atom can have all four same quantum numbers that is n l ml and ms these are the identities or the identity card of a particular electron no two electron in a particular atom can share everything as same sometimes two electron may have these three same but this may be different or sometimes it may have this three same but this may be different but this four same is never possible so this is main concept about it atom and what was the use of studying this we'll see the atomic uh, or the orbital shapes in the next video so i hope you understood and if you have any queries you can ask